Sometimes things just move too fast for me. I was thinking about making a video about my thoughts on the 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 hunt movie that was supposed to be coming out, but now they've pulled it because of all the shootings and whatnot. To be perfectly honest, I'm amazed this movie even got past the idea stage. I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall in the meeting room when they came up with this one. Now, if, if this movie had been about Trump supporters kidnapping and hunting down liberals, then yeah, that one, that one I could see that one being made. But this, it just kind of, it just caught me off guard completely, and it's just, it's just, it was just the sheer audacity of this thing being made being greenlit, being filmed and released that grabbed my attention. And yes, I would have liked to have, to have gone and seen it, just, to, just for the sheer audacity of it. Now I guess not, for, for now anyway. I'm they're probably just waiting for things to die down and the finger pointing and blaming to die down. And I'm sure it'll, it'll come out in one form or another if they actually, if they still put it in the theater or put it on demand or whatever they choose to do with it. I would still like to see it. It just it's just the very concept of it and just the the, the very fact that this actually got greenlit and made is just is just astonishing to me. And so for that more than anything, I would like I would like I would like to see it. That and it's got Emma Roberts in it. Emma Roberts playing a Trump supporter. Well, they didn't... At first, they, everybody said it was they were kidnapping Trump supporters. But then they said, well, they're basically it's anybody that espouses a conservative viewpoint. Pro-life or anti-gay marriage or whatever, you know. And to be honest, this isn't really the first time that uh, a movie like that, like this, is, has come out from Hollywood. There was a movie back in the 60s, 1968, called Wild in the Streets. It was put out by American International Pictures. This was like, you know, at the height of the, the hippie era. A lot of it still, uh, still resonates today. This uh, fellow who was a pop star, he got sort of recruited by the presidential candidate to try and uh, get the youth vote. But he ends up going into politics himself and actually does end up getting himself elected president. This guy goes from being a pop star to, uh, to president. Sounds a little familiar, doesn't it? Oh, uh, I have no desire to hear Trump sing. <sighs> no thank you. And what does he and his, his pals end up doing? They take everybody that's over 30, herd them into these quote-unquote paradise camps, and uh, force-feed them all LSD. While they cavort and carry on in the White House, everybody, all the old older people, they're in these retirement camps tripping out on LSD. No one political, no, neither one of the political parties has a, a corner on hate. It's just, they're just not, neither party is immune to it. There's bad apples on both sides. You get the wrong people in the wrong positions and something's gonna happen. But it is, it is a very, it is an interesting movie. If you ever get a chance to find it and see it, I highly recommend it. And actually this whole thing about uh, hunting political dissidents or deplorables or whatever you want to call them there was another movie that came out two years later in 1970 I believe it was in the early 70s I was, it's called Punishment Park and that was actually filmed as like a well today they call it a mockumentary but there's nothing mocking about it it's a fictionalized documentary about political distance being brought before a tribunal and they're given they say to them you have two choices you can either go to prison and 
serve out your full prison sentence, or you can do Punishment Park, which was basically they had uh, they had to go, they had to travel across this one state park out in the desert to this one area where the flag was. It's basically it was basically capture the flag. Only they're being chased by uh, state militia and the National Guard as part of a as a quote unquote training exercise. So yeah, this is all you know. This is all nothing new. You know, before the hunt and before the purge, Punishment Park was there first. That's another one that, uh, if you get a chance, look it up. Speaking of the purge, you know, I always wondered if crime is supposed to be legal for 24 hours, including murder. I was wondering why they didn't just have all the liberals and conservatives just have this big knockdown, drag out fight instead of just isolated groups doing whatever. I mean, that would have, that would have been, you want to talk about, you know, a real example of, ex of extremism taken to the worst ends. That would have been it right there. Just have a massive, just have a, a massive shootout between the liberals and the conservatives. But I guess it's it's more dramatic human wise, you know, if you focus on like the the various individuals and their little struggles to get through the purge, which I tend to agree with. I've only seen the first two. I haven't seen I haven't seen any of the others and I haven't seen the T V series. I just haven't. Getting back to the hunt, once everything dies down, I'm sure it'll it'll come back in some form or another. And I'm sure the the video games will come back to Walmart too. Although it's not, it's not actually it's not the actual video games that are being banned. They're just they're just not promoting them. Those will come back too. It'll, this it, it, it's it'll all you know the cycle, it cycles and it'll cycle back. The pendulum will swing back until something else happens and everybody wants to look like they're concerned and you know they're trying to do the right thing and. They'll start saber rattling again. It just goes back and forth. That's all it does. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Hope you enjoyed them, such as they are. And uh, thanks for watching. Please, take care.